Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. Good evening and thank you for joining us. And armed robbery to tell you about now in North Battleford. On Monday night around around midnight, rather, our CMP received a complaint of an armed robbery at a business on a Highway 16 bypass. A van pulled out outside the business and a female exited and went in the business. She then left the store and a second female entered the store with a knife and wearing a mask. The female demanded cash and the store clerk denied her and said a police had been called and a woman ended up fleeing from the store before the police had arrived. If anyone has information about this incident, they're asked to call Battleford RCMP at 306 446-1720 or Crime Stoppers. Well, some Cold Lake residents are now looking for new accommodations after a fourplex in that city was destroyed by fire yesterday afternoon. Emergency crews responded to the blaze just before 3.30 p.m. Police say all residents have been accounted for and no one was injured. A family dog did die, though, as a result of the fire. The cause is not yet known, but it does not appear to be suspicious. The investigation is continuing. Well, a local organization called 100 Men Lloyd Minster have donated a check of $9,500 to aid a group in need and assistance. But before our checks, checks are given out, rather, agency representatives must present their case. We had two groups make presentations, Midwest Victim Services as well as the Air Cadet Squadron. And after hearing the presentations from the two groups, the members voted. For this September selection, Midwest Victim Services was chosen. It's a huge amount that's uh, really going to go to to a good cause and enable our victims' advocates uh, to provide an even better service to to the communities we serve. To be able to donate even a small amount to help them out as they move forward with the work that they do, I think that you know means a lot. The group meets four times a year, and each time they meet, $100 is donated by each member and is then allocated to a different charity or not-for-profit organization of their choice. And the 100 men is also comprised of women, and they're always welcoming new members. Well, Animal Health Week is marking its 30th year. As Gerard Lampau explains, the Canadian Veterinary Medical Association is emphasizing the importance of the relationship between the client and the vet. We think that, that wellness exams and having your pet examined every year is, is the best way to go for your pet. The perfect pair, partners in preventive veterinary care. That's the relationship being fostered as Emily brings her one-and-a-half-year-old Dalmatian, Bryn, for a visit at the animal hospital. Maybe we can head over to Michelle and we'll grab a wheat. The idea behind that theme is that us as veterinarians and you as pet owners were partners in trying to keep your pets happy, healthy, pain-free. The old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, rings true as it costs less if you can catch an ailment early. Sounds good. His heart rate's about 96 beats per minute. The Lloydminster Animal Hospital offers a wide range of animal care services including x-rays, ultrasounds and blood work. We like to do routine blood work to monitor trends in what's going on with organs like their liver and their kidneys as they get older. Dental care is very important. Having healthy teeth, maintaining ideal weight and a good body condition score can help prevent illness, especially in older animals. While the focus of this week is on smaller pets, the hospital also serves large farm animals. We do a lot of equine work, preventive care in dental health, uh, floating horses teeth, lameness exams, fecal exams, looking for worms and parasites, pregnancy testing on cattle, um, semen evaluations in the spring, um, you know, just the overall health of your herd. The animal hospital always has a vet on call to deal with any emergencies, but for Bryn, he's going home with a healthy report. And when you look at him from the top, he has a nice waistline. So, you know, he's just in, he's what we call a five out of nine. So he's in perfect, perfect shape. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News.